what, what you kind of get is... So we're, whole, we're about to, I mean, so what's the name of the school? You're at the uh, Dirty Apron Cooking School. Dirty uh, Apron, okay, great name. We're a, um, a, um, kind of a casual, or let's say an amateur hands-on cooking school for the foodie, right? And then um, what we do is hands-on, we'll do, uh, it's based on usually three courses, appetizer, main course, and dessert. Um, you would come in, you would sit down in a red chair, you would watch a chef do a demo, and then they would, um, from there, we would send you to your stations. We have all the trays mise en place out, and then each student will work as an individual and um, create that same dish that they made. Too. So, is, is do, do the students work in uh, groups, or are they all individual? No, I see. Work as an individual, when you come onto a four-hour hands-on cooking class. And who is there? Anyone coaching them along the way? Yeah, there would be the demo chef and an assistant who would help them up, so Interesting. walking around and just kind of. Somebody gets stuck, or somebody's just not really, you know, not as skilled as maybe the other person, but we can handle everybody right up from the, the toast burner right up to the uh, experienced foodies. Okay, and how many in a class at any time? Okay, yeah. so you can give, you know, so you can give some hands on Absolutely. coaching and so yeah. forth. Yeah. So, what is this room here? Because this, this is, is the dining room where, uh, so after you made your first course, you would walk into the dining room with your dish be able to eat it hot. And you get to critique your own meal, enjoy that, kind of that you have a common bond with other people in the dining room, you should experience the exact same. Do you do wine pairing? At um, the same we time? have a host wine that we do pair with it, so you get to enjoy that with uh, your choice of red or white. So do you do different kind of cuisines? Depend like tonight yeah, you said you're doing... Yeah, a French bistro class. And yesterday was a, um, we did a West Coast theme class. Huh. Uh, the day before we did a Japanese class called Jack I Have Fever. Uh, we have three Japanese classes, we have Thai classes, we have um, seafood, um, French, Italian, all the way through. About, about 20 different classes. So every day you guys? Every day. Every day. You can fill this every day. That's amazing. I can't believe, I can't believe we didn't know about this. The corporate it, business is huge as well too. Yeah, but still, you, you're, the whole city's being embarked upon by travel bloggers and we didn't even know about it. So, all right, let's walk in here and let's take a look. This is so cool, look at this. This is what I'm missing tonight when they're doing French Bistro. So this is obviously where all the yep. students kind so of sit. Individual stations. Each, each station represents two, well, let's say one cutting board represents one person, so two people per station. Half the stove, um, everything is all clad. Uh, Worcestershire knives, top of the line of everything. Old yeah. stoves. This is amazing, man. I wish I could have done this. I wish I had planned for it. Hi! How are you? Hi, I'm Renee. Hi, everyone. We blog the world. Just here, like, letting everybody know about this. Okay, and where can people find out more online? Um, at dirtyapron.com. And uh, schedules, everything's online. There. Are you guys on Twitter? Yeah, we're on Twitter, too. I couldn't give you the exact Twitter address, but uh, we're on Twitter. You'll find that on our website. All right, I'll check. Well too, so I will check yeah, them both it's out. All connected there. All right, thanks so much. Awesome. And your name again? Takashi Mizukami. Takashi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Signing Thank you. off from the Dirty Apron.